the region of Luakabe is related to the coffee cultivation in Indonesia. In the early of 18th centuries, the Dutch opened the commercial plantation and its colony in East Indies, in particular at Java and Sumatra. One of them is Arabica coffee, seed from Yemen. In the era of Carlos Tilsio, 1830 until 1870, the Dutch prohibit the native people as plantation labor to take a coffee berry for self-consumption. But the local people would like to drink the famous coffee. In the level found, then there is a luwak that always eat the coffee berry. But only the flowers of the berry eat by the luwak, while the peel and berry is not indigestible. The coffee berry in the faces of luwak will collect it, wash, roast it, mashed, and pour boiling water on it, and there is a luwak coffee. The delicious of aromatic coffee known by the Dutch who own the plantation and then this coffee is very famous for the rich man in the Netherlands. For its scarcity and the abnormal process, the Lua coffee is very expensive coffee during the colonialism. Lua always eats the best and mature berry as it foods. Lua chose the very mature coffee berry and then the coffee with the peel and indigestible will exceed on the faces of the Lua. This is coffee berry always six by farmer because they believe that it's the best coffee and had been fermented natural by seafood. And this coffee is very delicious and very special for the coffee lovers. As we know that the aromatic mature coffee Lua only found from the wild Lua coffee. Their mature coffee Lua only supply the wild Lua coffee from the gold zones of the best coffee in the world especially at Mandailing Nata, as the first area where the Dutch cultivate the coffee seeds in exotic Sumatra Island. Mandailing coffee is very famous in the world especially for the coffee lover. Lintong Nihuta is the name of the small village in the Regency of Umbahas as the area where the best coffee in the world with the aromatic is found. And then Gayo, Central Aceh and Benar Maria Regencies as the famous producer of coffee in international as well as Gayo coffee at brewing. Matcha coffee lua has a scarce product, Peaberry lua coffee, in a limited area of regrants. Matcha coffee lua always supply the lua coffee from Dairi City Kalan and Karo as the plantation that produce the coffee for international coffee. All of lua coffee is come from the organic plantation and with the volcanic area that did not found in another area and also on Lua coffee from another area. As we know that Lua always seeks by the coffee farmer because it assumes as the past and the local people take Lua for consumption. In order to minimize the scarce population in what area, the natural coffee Lua in cooperation with the NGO do the awareness program for the sustainable of the ecosystem. The negative activity of farmer is the converse of the forest to be agriculture area illegally that will disturb the flora and fauna. Matcha Coffee Luwak in cooperation with NGO do the education on the forest conservation as the habitat of the Lua. Matcha Coffee Luwak and the NGO believe that the Lua coffee will increase the income of the farmers and to increase the prosperity of the farmers and minimize the conversion of the area to be the agriculture area. Matcha Coffee Lua has a commitment I will supply the best product to the customer. In this sense, the hygiene, originality, taste and aroma have the higher value. Matcha Coffee Lua in each production process follows the accurate procedure. The taste of roasting coffee based on the requirement such as cinnamon roast, American roast, city roast, full city roast, front roast, and a greening roasted coffee must be based on the preference of application of coffee machine.